The psalmist said, You've changed my sadness into a joyful dance. You've taken away my sorrow and surrounded me with joy. So I will not be silent. I will sing praise to you. Lord, you are my God. I will give you thanks forever. Good morning and welcome to our service where we begin by worshipping God in the hymn Moved by the Gospel. Let us move with every gift and art. This morning's reading comes from Matthew chapter 10, verses 40 to 42. And anyone who welcomes you welcomes me, and anyone who welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. Whoever welcomes a prophet as a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever welcomes a righteous person as a righteous person will receive a righteous person's reward. And if anyone gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones who is my disciple, truly I tell you, that person will certainly not lose their reward. May God add his blessing to this reading of his holy word, and to his name be all praise and glory. Amen. There are many things I could have done during these strange times. I could have learned to play the piano. Well, learned a little. I always wanted to be a pianist. I could have read more history books. I always wanted to be a historian. I could have listened to more classical music. I always wanted to learn more of Mozart's brilliant compositions. But I've done none of these things. I have discovered more walks around Newtile. I have done a little work in the garden. I have played music. Yes, a little Mozart, but a lot of the incredible string band and some Leonard Cohen. There it is. For those who know me well, you were just waiting for his name to appear. He has a song called The Guests and here are some of the words. One by one the guests arrive, the guests are coming through. The open-hearted many, the broken-hearted few. And no one knows where the night is going, and no one knows why the wine is flowing. 
And those who dance begin to dance, and those who weep begin. Welcome, welcome, cries a voice. Let all my guests come in. The guests, the open-hearted many, the broken-hearted few. And Jesus says, whoever welcomes you welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. These disciples had a mission, of that there is no doubt. And although Matthew doesn't tell us how they fared on their travels, Mark and Luke do. We're told they travelled through all the villages, preaching the good news and healing people everywhere. So yes, they were missionaries, but they were also guests, guests in people's homes, where they offered hospitality and rest. Did other neighbours join these homes to listen to their words? More guests. Were they open-hearted, welcoming these strange men, listening to their words, urging them to share more, glad to receive the news? Perhaps though some guests were broken-hearted, sick, hurting, not sure on who to turn. Did they arrive with their burdens and anxieties to have them lightened and lifted? Those who dance begin to dance, and those who weep begin. Welcome, welcome, cries a voice. Let all my guests come in. Can we hear these words, all my guests? Not just the folk we like, the folk who live around us. Not just the Christians or the Christian sympathizers. Not just the good living ones, the respectable ones. All my guests. There's always room at the table. And I love this quote by the late Rachel Heard Evans. She said, this is what God's kingdom is like. A bunch of outcasts and oddballs gathered at a table. Not because they're rich or worthy or good, but because they're hungry. Because they said yes, and there's always room for more. It probably wasn't all plain sailing for the disciples when they ventured out. Perhaps some of them were even a bit reticent, but they were carried along by the others' enthusiasm. Yet they were welcomed. They were invited into people's homes and people's lives. And in turn, they offered a welcome, an invitation, an invitation to a kingdom that was just beginning to unfold around them. It's unfolding around us. And it's right here, here where we welcome others to the table, here where we make no discriminations, no judgments. And perhaps it takes a lifetime to do that, to be accepting of all the guests, but we try to all the same, because that's what Jesus does. And those who dance begin to dance, and those who weep begin, welcome, welcome cries a voice. Let all my guests come in. Amen. And now here's a piece of music to listen to, not because it's connected to what I've said, but because it's Mozart and it's beautiful. The trio from Cosi Fan Tutti.
Let us pray. Lord, we come to worship you, not in our usual place of worship, but in our own homes. Be with us today as we pray for others and ourselves. The world feels strange right now. The news is full of stories about coronavirus. Some people are worried that they might get ill. Others are anxious for their family and friends. Be with them and help them to find peace. We pray for our government and ministers overseeing the pandemic, having to take measures to safeguard us all. We also pray for the doctors, nurses and scientists, and all who are working to discover the right medicines to help those who are ill. God of compassion and grace, we pray for all those who are shielding and who have found themselves imprisoned within the loneliness of home. Be with them and bless them, Lord. May they know that they are loved, still precious in your sight, and feel your arms support them through the day and through the night. Lord, we remember all those individuals who are worried about what the future holds for them, who have concerns about their job. Grant that we may not forget them and reassure them that tomorrow will be a better day. Lord, be very near to any of our number who are facing anxiety and heartache and who feel they cannot cope. Uphold them and grant them your strength and peace. And now in a moment's silence, Lord, we bring the prayers within our own hearts to you. Father, we pray for ourselves that we might know the gentle authority of Jesus in all parts of our lives, leading us, guiding us, encouraging and directing us, now and always. And now we come together saying the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever. Amen.
A blessing from Ruth Burgess. May God, who is your maker and keeper, bless you today. May Jesus, who understands tears and laughter, bless you today. May the Holy Spirit, who sometimes shouts and sometimes whispers, bless you today. Today, tomorrow, all your nights, all your days, may you know God's blessing and may you know you are deeply loved. Amen. <laughs>